Hey friends, do you know what? Today we're going to talk about emotions. Yeah, and specifically emotions as they relate to your relationships. Have you ever caught yourself saying, God damn it, you make me mad. Or you're annoying me. Or you're making me sad. Have you ever said the words, you are making me feel something? If you've said those words, let me give you a little reality check. No one can make you feel anything. No one has the remote control to your emotions and they just press the buttons and then bam, you're in a state. That doesn't happen. Let's look at what's really going on when you have an emotional experience. Yeah. When you're having an emotional experience, there's a, a body language associated with it, right? A physiology. If you're depressed, maybe your shoulders are hunched over. Maybe your chest is kind of constricted. If you're angry, your face is all scrunched up. Maybe there's tense, ten, uh, tension in your cheeks and your face. There's a physiology associated with all of your emotional experiences. If you're really, really angry, it's pretty hard to maintain that anger if you go skipping down the street like a little schoolboy or a little schoolgirl. It's pretty hard to maintain depression when you're up, upside down naked doing a handstand. Right? So there's a physiology associated with your state. Now, what physiology are you in when you're in a state that's not working for you? Did someone put you in that physiology? Or did you put you in that physiology? That's number one. Number two, all emotional experiences come with some thinking, don't they? If you're pissed off, you've got to be thinking some pissed off thoughts. If you're offended and angry and frustrated, you've got to be playing movies inside your mind about you being wronged in some way right? So every emotional experience has two components, a physiology and a thinking that occurs. Now who controls those two components? Other people? No, they do not. You control those two components. You control what you think and how you're going to look at a situation, whether you look at solutions or whether you look at problems. You control the kind of physiology you're going to bring to that situation whether you're hunched over and your shoulders are all you know, down and constricted, or if you're standing upright and you're squared, you control that. So you control the two primary influences on your emotional state at any given time. No one controls them for you, which means no one can make you feel anything. And what's going on is if it seems like someone's making you feel something, it's because you're giving them that power. You're giving them power over your thinking, you're giving them power over your feeling, you're giving them power over your physiology. But only you can do that. Uh, in the words of Colin Cox, a person can only drive you crazy if you give them the keys.